Well, as of this point, you may have heard about an app, a newer app called Clubhouse. I'm here to give you just my basic thoughts on it after a week on the platform. I heard about it initially on Twitter, some creators that I follow talking about how cool it was to just jump in a room and talk with various other creators. I downloaded the app. I put my name on the waiting list. Much to my surprise, I was given an invite. See how it works is people that are in your phone book. If you're in somebody's phone book, you can see everybody under your your list because when you're when you're on the clubhouse app they want you to invite people and when you first sign up you get one invite that's all you get you get one invite but you can go down your list of contacts and see who you may want to bring on now if they've already registered for clubhouse they will come right in because you have their phone number they gave their phone number to clubhouse and as a result clubhouse will bring them into the app i got brought in I really didn't use the app all that much in the first two or three days that I got it. And then I started to search about two days later, I was sitting around and I decided to start searching like who was on it, creators that I follow on Twitter. And I saw that my buddy Professor Nez was on the app and I decided to see what room he was in. And it was a room dedicated to just YouTube talk. What's really cool about this is you have kind of three sections in a clubhouse room. You have the speakers that are up top. You have the people that are followed by the speakers that are listening in right below and below that. Then you just kind of have any other people that, you know, randomly stumble into the room and start listening to the conversation. There's a little hand icon on the bottom right. You raise your hand if you would like to be brought on to the conversation in a speaking capacity and You basically will sit there until a moderator brings you in. And when it is your turn, you start talking. Usually a good room on Clubhouse, the moderator will see like in order who's been waiting the longest and bring people in in that order. They'll say, okay, up next we have Gary. I saw I was in a really good one yesterday where they were like reading off people's profiles. So it's really important You want to build a great profile on there that really speaks to who you are, what you do, and what you're looking for on Clubhouse. And so a good moderator on Clubhouse will say, okay, up next, let's go to Gary. Looks like he's a video creator, a podcaster, and let's see what he's got to say. Do you have a question or a comment, Gary? They bring you right in and you can ask your question. What I've seen more often than not over the last couple of days when I've jumped into these uh, YouTube centric rooms, because that's really where my head's at right now. It's really into YouTube and what I can get out of it. What can I learn from it? I've been in some great rooms with like Nick and D Nimmin, Daryl Eves, Kyle Taggart. I seen him in a room yesterday dropping knowledge. A lot of really great rooms. Mr. Beast was in a clubhouse room the other night. Okay, so this was this was like Wednesday night. It is almost 10 p.m. I'm watching AEW about to go to bed, and I just jump on clubhouse really quick just to see what's happening. And I see as one of my recommended rooms near the top, there is a room that has someone named Mr. Beast in it. Now, I say it like that because I didn't actually believe that it was him because here's a guy with 50 million subscribers on YouTube. Why on earth would he be hanging out in a clubhouse room talking YouTube? But then you follow him on Twitter and you realize he's a big time YouTube nerd. He loves to dig deep in the stats and and see just how much better he can make every video. And that's why he's super successful because he dedicates all of his time to trying to figure out how to make the best videos. That's what he said in the clubhouse. That's what he does. And so I'm just sitting here for this hour, almost hour and a half. I really need to go to bed because I got to get up at 4 a.m. But I just couldn't help myself. I was just sitting there listening to this guy who built his YouTube channel up to 50 million subscribers. And this is not behind some paywall. You know, it's none of that stuff. He's just a dude sitting in this room, just dropping fire. And he said, Hey, anybody have any questions? You have, you want guys want to ask some questions. I'd love to, you know, try to point you in the right direction on some stuff. And people are just jumping up one by one, asking questions. He's welcoming in some of his friends who also work within the industry. Logan Paul, of all people, 
just got a big fight with Floyd Mayweather, jumped in to this clubhouse room, and they're going back and forth. And as somebody like me, I have just under 300 subs on my solo YouTube channel. I have 174 on Gary and Larry's Edible Adventures. There is still so much for me to learn. I think that if you're not constantly learning, you're not doing something right. You want to be learning. You want to figure out what is the best way I can do things. How can I learn how to to, uh, take this to the next level? What can I do? And so I'm spending time in these rooms and it's not just like scrolling on like an Instagram feed or wasting my time watching Netflix or something. I'm just sitting in this room and I'm listening to these people that have actually had measurable success on the platform that I'm trying to be a part of. And they're sharing all this incredible knowledge. And I got a lot. I took a lot of notes. I learned a lot from this clubhouse app. I think that the pros by far outweigh the cons. If somebody were to say, hey, you know, what what are some negative parts about Clubhouse? I mean, there are times where you can get into these really crowded rooms. And if you have a question, you could be waiting a long time just to get to your question. You could be waiting so long, in fact, that if there's somebody in there that you respect and like, they may not be in there for more than an hour or so. If you're sitting there for two hours, and don't get me wrong, you're getting a lot of great knowledge, but maybe there's somebody that you're trying to get a hold of in there and you you can't because they 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 rolled out. If you go on Twitter, I know some people have said that there's been some bullying going on in Clubhouse, which is not cool whatsoever. So there's some people, I guess, that are not having great experiences. I would say this, my best advice to somebody that gets an invite onto Clubhouse, think about what it is that you're trying to do? Are you trying to be a YouTuber? Are you trying to do a podcast? Are you trying to create other things? Think about all of this. Think about people that are considered authority on those particular topics. People that like maybe you listen to a podcast of theirs or they have a YouTube channel that you follow. Look for those people, seek them out, go into rooms that they're hanging out in because then you know You're going to, for the most part, come across like-minded people who have some of the same goals that you have. And I think that that's the way that you get the most out of Clubhouse. That is literally my best advice. And by the way, if you know me and you want to get on Clubhouse, again, it's iPhone only. So if you don't have an iPhone, you're out of luck for the moment. I'm sure that they are eventually going to bring it to the Android uh, platform. But if you're on the iPhone, if you want to, and I only want to bring people on that are actually going to use it. Don't get an invite from me and then never log on. I want you to go on there and get as much stuff that you possibly can out of this app, because I think there's a lot of room to learn on there. There's a lot of room to grow by talking with other like-minded creators or like-minded people within whatever world you're in. So if you're, if you're looking for an invite, hit me up. I only have a couple. So once they're gone, they are gone. And that's going to do it for me for today. I appreciate you guys checking out the podcast, checking out this video, whichever platform you're watching it on. And if there's anything else more you want to know about Clubhouse, just drop it in the comments and I'll be happy to get back to you. So thank you guys so much for checking this out and I'll catch you next time.